بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دی ففتھ فورتھ نیوز فرام ٹو ڈیز نیوز پیپر فرنٹ پیج ڈان پالیٹکس فیولس براڈ شیٹ نیریٹو آر پی ٹی آئی منسٹرس لائرس آن دی سیم پیج بائی فہد حسین Islam about the broadsheet award made public on Monday is a sweeping incident of Pakistan's legal and um, prosecution prosecutorial performance in the last two decades and lays bare the rank in the incompetence and the political perfidy displayed by officials of the National Accountability Bureau and the successive governments. The award is now being used to turbocharge uh, partisan narratives regardless of the exact findings. Contained in the document at the heart of the news, new offensive form, the PTI government is their argument that the broadsheet award has exposed the extent of the Sri family corruption by identifying the vast properties spread across many countries and totaling a um, whopping $820 million. In a press conference on uh, Tuesday evening, the cabinet minister, Shivri Faraz Fawad Chaudhary and Dr. Shiri Mazari Told into on the Sharif's saying, the award by the United Kingdom arbitrator Sir Anthony Evans had independent of any Pakistani government or court identified and valued these properties, which is proof enough that the broadsheet award had exposed them. This may not be entirely true. To understand the situation, let us. Uh, take a quick and uh, simple to understand overview of the broadsheet award. It contains uh, two main documents in part final award, liability issues to be part final award, quantum. In the first document, the arbitrator explains the dispute between broadsheet LLC, claimant and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, the National Accountability Bureau respondent, and then lists out the reasons why broadsheets claims are correct. In essence, this document spells out the legally reasoning of why broadsheet has won case and Pakistan never have lost. In the second document, the arbitrator explains how he was determined, he has determined the amount of money that Pakistan and NAB must pay to broadsheet. For the purpose of the Sharif family, her property valuation and the explanation given by the cabinet ministers on Tuesday, uh, let us turn to the second document, document the arbitrator explains that in order to calculate the damages that NAB um, was uh, required to pay. Broadsheet, it had to be determined how much Broadsheet would have owned from its um, services to NAB had its contract not been terminated. The arbitrator has already established in the first document that NAB termination of the contract with Broadsheet in 2003 was illegal. For purposes of the valuation of the Sharif family properties, experts were called in and brought in to brought two such experts working for a consulting firm called Strauss um, Friedberg SF 
Um, they produced a report in uh, 2018 that listed the Shari family uh, properties and values. And then uh, at 820 million dollars. And this is the figure that the three cabinet ministers mentioned in uh, their press conference while saying that the experts have identified these properties. Um, Harris, uh, where the ministers may have not been entirely accurate, the part final award quantum uh, says on page 32, as uh, Charles Fielding, Fieldberg was instruct, instructed to carry out a forensic audit or inventory of the JTI PIT report. And this consisted of identifying uh, potentially recoverable assets of the Sri family that were referred to in it and ascribing a valuation to each. And this resulted in a list of 76 items of property in the three overseas jurisdictions. Uh, let's pause here and uh, look at the key difference between what the cabinet ministers are saying and what the award has written. The award states clearly that the 76 properties identified and valued at $820 million were based not on any independent investigation by these international experts but on the report of the Joint Investigation Team, the IT, which was prepared for the Supreme Court of Pakistan. In other words, the broadsheet award on the Sharif family properties is not a new revelation, but just a forensic uh, audit of the GIT report. But the story does not end here. Pakistan NAV called in as their expert, <coughs> Mark Bezans, from a firm called FTI uh, Consulting to go over the report of the other experts and uh, give his comments. Uh, Bezans pointed out some flaws in the report. The award document states he uh, contended that there were four further items of double counting, uh, totaling, to, totaling US dollar 41 million, which uh, Satos uh, Fiedberg uh, had not taken into account. He claimed that the SF had failed to take a full account of the liabilities of property owning companies including mortgages owned by them. <clears throat> the list um, of 76 items of property included funds, includes funds, uh, included funds no longer held by or no longer recoverable from the Sharif family, affecting the 69 of the 76 items in The SF list and as much as 98% of the total value of Mr. Bazan's estimated that the broadsheet's lost revenue was between a US dollar 2.9 million high and a US dollar 2.3 million low. The difference in figures are given by the experts from broadsheet at the from Pakistan and NAB is used. At this stage, the arbitrator uh, was trying to determine how to evaluate the properties of the Sharif family and then establish the figure for broadsheet that would be 20% of the total value of these properties. This hearing took place in July 2018. 
um, which means the caretaker government was in control in Slavic. Having seen the assessment of experts from both sides, SF from Broadsheet and FBI from Pakistan Net, the arbitrator gives his own comments on page 34. The SFF, the SF for the slot were put to identify assets currently held by members of the Sari family. Rather, it lists items of property which have which um, uh, have been held by our attributed to them over a period of 20 years or more. One result of this is that as respondents, expert witnesses have pointed out in the list made includes both the funds used to purchase a property asset and the property asset itself for the value of shares in a property owning company as well. as well as the property it owns, or the value of property that has been sold together with the value of other property bought with the, with the proceeds. As an example of arbitrator, besides the example of an item in the broadsheet experts report described as the Lahore Islamabad Highway, kickback value valued at US dollar 160 billion. Broadsheet I had claimed to this, this was a figure quoted in a constitutional petition against Nawaz Sharif. The accusation was that he or uh, his uh, associates had received this um, payment from the contractors of the Lahore Islamabad motorway, and uh, therefore Proxy uh, was entitled to a commission from this amount. The arbitrator wrote on page 35 of the award, this evidence in my view does not support a claim that there is or was an asset worth US dollar 160 million in this, in his possession, which NAB could have recovered from him, or I could recover now, uh, without further evidence linking that to some to cash or property assets, which can or could have been seized. The arbitrator then assesses the uh, valuation uh, from uh, both parties and makes his decision, page 54, having regard of all evidence, I find that the appropriate value, valuation of the potential recovery from the Shari family is US dollar under million to be uh, realized at some future date. Uh, deducting the 5% to take account of likely delay in eventual recovery. The penalty figure, therefore, is US dollar 95 million, and the uh, claimant's share at 20% is US dollar 19 million. Uh, this 19 million dollars forms the bulk of the total amount, including interest of approximately 28 million dollars uh, that the government of Pakistan paid to Broadsheet in December 2020 uh, from the account of the Pakistani High Commission in the United States. However, some relevant questions need to be addressed by the government through the committee formed by Prime Minister Imran Khan, which includes the Cabinet Ministers, Shibri Faraz, Fawad Chaudhary, and Dr. Shiri Mazari. First, it is clear from this award that the arbitrator or the experts have not con conducted any fresh investigation and discovered any new uh, properties of the Sharif family as being claimed by 
government ministers today. The Avanti given to broadsheet, as far as the Shari family is concerned, is based on the GIT report and its listing of all Shari family uh, properties. Second, it is not clear how the valuation of properties in the award includes the ones that are declared the properties legal. Experts consulted by Don say that NAB recoveries are supposed to be based on undeclared properties or ones that are proven and to have been bought and through funds acquired through corruption. Declared and undis undisputed uh, properties cannot become part of the claimed recoveries. However, broadsheet has benefited from the amount linked to all properties owned and declared by the Sherry family and Pakistan NAB has had to pay of this amount to broadsheet. Third is the most interesting, the arbitrators started to from the figure of $820 million, claimed as the total value of Sherry family uh, property by the broadsheet experts and finally concluded a figure of $100 million. How did he come up with this figure? Legal experts saying arbitrators have the authority to do so. Cabinet ministers are claiming $820 million dollar figure to um, fuel their narrative. And that is the figure that the broadsheet presented and not the government of Pakistan. So in essence, the government of government of today is saying that the government in 2018 was wrong and the broadsheet was right. This becomes even Stranger, when you look at the appeal, the government of Pakistan appealed this amount of $100 million as it should have the appeal hearing as conducted on January 28, 2019, 2019 between the government of Pakistan, NAB versus Rotsi. On this date, PTI was in the government of Pakistan. The lawyers of the PTI government said this is this in the appeal hearing. There is no explanation in the quantum award as to the uh, discount that has been applied or the method by which this was uh, reached or what net figure it was applied to. The tribunal uh, has therefore failed to give any reason as to how or why it reached its award of the US dollar, 19 million in relation to the Shari family or other assets. The tribunal has given no explanation at all as to how it reached the overall assessment. There is no way the parties can understand how the decision was reached or on the basis of what is done. In other words, the ministers of the PTI government are today citing the figure of $820 million as evidence of Shari family. Corruption, whereas the liars of the PTI government were arguing two years ago that the final figure cited $100 million was too much. The PTI government might want to reconcile these two contradictory positions if that is possible. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the first one. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time and goodbye.